Hello and welcome to another cable tutorial. Today I want to talk about the new set of orbs that are called intersections. Um, those orbs uh, make it really easy to pick an object, pick a 3D object or test for collisions of objects. Um, this is the example, so I can move my mouse and then you can read which object uh, the mouse is hovering right now. And basically we will build this now. So here's my, my new uh, empty patch and I will create a, um, a op that is called intersection world. So I will search for intersection and then or intersect and then you will see uh, those three ops, those are the main ops that we will work with. So I will add um, the intersect world op operator. And so this means everything from here on afterwards, uh, downwards, uh, is part of a, of a world. So in uh, to a world I can add bodies. So I can add uh, the intersect body operator here. And then you will see we have a sphere on the screen now. So uh, you can change the shape here and there will probably be more shapes coming up soon. So I can give it a name. So let's just call it a sphere. And uh, I can change the radius uh, and so on. And um, so now our world contains a sphere. Now maybe we want uh, the mouse to hover the sphere and then see that, that it's uh, picking the sphere. So I can add... Uh, intersect raycast operator. So raycast means like from the mouse cursor, a line is, uh, a ray is cast into infinity basically. And then we will look, uh, then we will test if the ray collides with the sphere. So, um, so I add this, this operator now. Um, now I need some uh, coordinates. Um, so I will add um, a mouse operator. Um, and just connect the x and y coordinates uh, to to this to this operator. So now, what you see when I move the mouse, uh, there's already some activity happening. So for debugging reasons, it's really really cool thing that we added in the last uh, releases. You can click the three dots menu here and select extend title. So this way, when uh, I I have a I have the sphere, you see the the output hit body name will become the name that I'm I'm picking and now I will also see it in the in the patch I don't have to click the operator I can just see what's happening there and this is a really really handy thing uh, for for debugging or for visualizing uh, values um, so now we see our sphere um, so uh, we are seeing a sphere we are not rendering a sphere really we are seeing the sphere because the intersect world has this render uh, toggle on <clears throat> otherwise those bodies are really transparent so you really want to add uh, for example a sphere here and then it's rendered uh, uh, it's it's rendered this way with all the materials and whatever but this is only for debugging reasons uh, you c you can enable it but but it's really handy so i will keep it um, keep it uh, toggled on so let's add another body now. So I will create uh, another body again. And this time I will switch it to a box and I will just call it cube. And um, now to move a body around, we just use the normal transform or tra translation ops. Um, so I can add a transform and I can move it around. Um, so now when I hover here, you see hit body name cube or sphere. So this this still just works and takes the new uh, body also in consideration. So this is how the ray casting works basically. So um, I can just add more bodies and then and then I will see I can I can cast the ray and see what's colliding. So for interactive stuff, this is pretty great. But the intersection operators can do more. So as you see the intersect word, um, it has an output port with the total number of bodies and it also has an array output with collisions. So let's just visualize this. Um, right now there's a collision happening because the cube is 
intersecting with the sphere. So when I use this transform and move it away, you see the collision goes away. So this is a really simple way to check if like objects are overlapping or maybe you have a interactive character that r runs through something and then you want to check if it's hitting this object or is in, in a specific area or, or whatever. So um, this is an easy way to find out if if bodies are colliding or intersecting. So that's pretty cool. Um, but you can also, have, it's a bit cumbersome to go through those objects and look which body it is and, and, and so on. So um, we have an op that's called filter um, intersections. Uh, where I can give a name or uh, give two names and then we can filter out if those two objects are colliding. So for this, we need some more objects. So um, as you see, the, in, the intersect body operator also takes a, an array, has an array input. So to this, I can connect a array, for example, a random numbers array and we want uh, X, Y, Z coordinates. So we choose a, a ABC. And this is a lot of uh, spheres, so let's just reduce them to three, maybe. And just for convenience, let's add an orbit controls so I can look around a bit. Um, so as you can see here, we already have way more collisions now because the spheres also intersect with each other. So uh, we see those two spheres uh, colliding right now. Uh, sorry, um, let's just remove this sphere, the full rendered one, and maybe add a better uh, visualization of this. So I will just use the PBR material and then um, add a mesh instance and use the geometry for, from the sphere that we rendered before in this mesh instance. And this random number array we can use for positions for the mesh instances. So this way, um, we just have the the sphere meshes exactly at the positions of the of the array, and there you can see they are they are intersecting right now. Uh, but I don't actually care about this. I just want to know if the cube is intersecting with the sphere, for example. So um, for this, I can use the uh, filter intersections operator. So here I can say sphere and cube. And this will is, this works like an email filter or something, right? You can you can uh, input a string and then say the the name has to start with sphere and the name of the other body has to start with cube. And if we have a hit, then it will output uh, this into an array and it tells you, yeah, we have a hit here in the colliding output. So let's look at this array. Um, so the cube has now two intersections basically and we see like those are those two spheres here. So when I move the cube around, you see it's going away. And then at one point we even have three intersections. So I can easily check if the cube is uh, intersecting and just for comparison, when I s uh, this way, I see all collisions. Um, there we have the sphere to sphere collision. So I could also filter for this. So we can add multiple filters uh, to filter those collisions. Um, yeah, so this is the first tutorial about the intersection ops. If you have any questions or anything, any remarks or would like to see anything else, uh, interactive examples or something, let us know and uh, we will try to do them. Thank you very much. See you.